finally time to get this tin can out of the driveway. We're off. I'll see you later. Hopefully this goes well. I have Leah accompanying me today. <laughs> And uh, we're just gonna go on a short little trip, just a one night trip, I'm only about an hour away to try and test everything out, make sure everything is working properly. Fingers crossed it is. We just have a couple more things to do before we head on out of here. And uh, then it's time to hit the open road. It'll be kind of nice to just see how this thing performs because it hasn't left the driveway in a, in like a year and a half. Well, I went through the mechanic. <laughs> Flip it over to solar. It's time to unplug. It's weird, I haven't done this uh, since bringing it to the mechanic. So, we're going back on solar. We're going off the grid for this one night camp trip. And the last thing I have to do before we go, I have to actually reserve the campsite. It's a free campsite near us, but it requires a permit, which is just a quick call to the office, and it should be good to go. Okay, so I will email you the permit in about five minutes, okay? All right, perfect. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Bye. All right, looks like we have a campsite for the night. Time to get going. All right, well, it starts, so that's the first step. The only thing that I am a little bit worried about for this is we have this exhaust cleaning exhaust filter, which I read up about it. It should be like a normal thing for Duramax engines to do. Uh, there's like a filter in the exhaust system that every once in a while needs to clean out by itself. I have read that it can put you in like a low power mode in the middle of you driving, but it should clean out if you're going at highway speeds for like 20 minutes or so. So I guess we'll find out. And we're off. I'll see you later. Hopefully this goes well. I'll keep you guys posted. 55 miles an hour, absolutely no problem. We're doing it. We're officially on the highway. We're on the highway with the likes of everyone else now. Uh, we made it to the road. I hope that we're not gonna get stuck up in here. It is a bit icy and slushy. The campsite is just right up the road. I'm just hoping the campsite, we don't get stuck in the campsite itself either because it's probably gonna be just like this or even worse. All right, this is it right here. Oh yeah, we'll be able to do that. Check that out, we made it to the campsite, so I'm gonna back in. You think we can? Yeah, I think that's all right. Okay. This thing did a good job, honestly. Yeah. However, it's incredibly noisy. Yeah. I gotta do something about like this squeaking and stuff. Can you look out the back window for me and just let me know if I'm good? am I over here? Am I near that sign? Yeah, dude. I'm like gonna hit it. Nice. Cool. All right. Woo! All right. And that's that. And this is the aftermath. Um, <laughs> everything is on the floor. Everything is <laughs> everywhere. Leah, what's the, uh, what's the verdict? Well, <laughs> the entire time he was driving, I was shoving the drawers back in. <laughs> I was like getting up to like all the drawers uh, that would fly open. I think um, the idea or the smart idea here would be to install hooks on all of the drawers because I saw this one especially popping open. The bathroom is an absolute catastrophic mess. Yeah, but if you guys have ever driven in Pennsylvania, you know our roads are definitely uh, not the greatest. They're very bumpy, lots of potholes, lots of twists and turns. And also the other thing for me as the driver is the shower, the bathroom. That thing squeaks like crazy like crazy so i'm definitely gonna have to try to figure out how to get that thing to not squeak so much it squeaks up in here as you're driving it just like is squeaking the whole time like when we were driving i was like well first of all i wasn't talking to you like yeah, at all yeah, just know. you know so that you could concentrate yeah but when we were talking it'd be like yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like yelling up the front. Yeah. Leah was on the bed, so maybe if she moves up here, it won't be as bad. I mean, it does the job. It, we got here in one piece. The thing worked really well, so 
The mechanical aspect, I think we're good. And also the exhaust filter light did end up going off. So that's good too. I think really, uh, we're just gonna kind of hang out. We're gonna see what we can do here. Let's go check out the campsite. All right. Oh, it's muddy right there. Got it. I think I'm gonna move the bus over here. Fire pit, we have a picnic table. I think Leah and I are gonna go on a little walk and see what's around. I don't know if there's really all that much as far as like hiking or walking around this campsite, but we have a good dinner and some fun things to do tonight, so. Isn't that a sight for sore eyes? Finally, yeah, finally. <laughs> this is honestly uh, pretty crazy. It's been quite the journey as you guys know to even get to this point with the mechanical issues, with the titling issues, with the diesel heater, with the build. It's just one thing after the other. And look at it, as you can see through the tree, it's finally in the wild. <laughs> it finally made it out of the driveway. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, as you guys can see, a smile on my face. It's, it's been a long time coming. A smile in the winter? I, I know, right? I don't even smile in the winter. I hate the winter. <laughs> but we made it, <laughs> finally. So I think we might make a little fire over in the fire pit, maybe roast some marshmallows, and we have taco salad for dinner tonight, so. We'll With to no that. hot sauce. <laughs> I forgot hot sauce. Finding some dry wood's gonna be a bit of a challenge. A lot of it is live wood, so it's gonna be tough to find nice, good, dry, dead wood, but. We're gonna get a fire going, start the heater up. It's getting kind of cold out now. Now the sun's kind of going down. Going down over the bus is kind of pretty though. So on the menu for tonight, we have taco salad. So we have some ground beef, we have some tomatoes, we have uh, some lettuce, and yeah, we're, we're gonna make some, some food here. Do you have to see a man on his knees? To keep your baby from leaving? We're all set. I'm so hungry. I know, me too. <laughs> all right, a little bit of meat. A little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomato, and a little bit of cheese. Lots of cheese. <laughs> For Leah, it's lots of cheese. And chips. We have chips too. Yeah, to school. I don't really know what we're gonna do, because it's winter. So we do have service, so I think we're probably gonna end up watching uh, Euphoria, because we haven't watched the new episode yet that came out Sunday, last Sunday. <laughs> so we're almost I know, we're almost a, a week away, yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that and just hang out, but I would say pretty successful. Boop. I think it's pretty good. We fast forwarded a couple of hours. Leah got some work done. I got some work done. We ate dinner. I'm gonna make us a little bit of good night tea while Leah cleans her face. And uh, then we're gonna watch her Euphoria episode and just go to bed, but. Matt is already tired. <laughs> I am. I was tired at like seven o'clock, I can't lie. He so. goes. <laughs> I'm tired. And I said, <laughs> and he goes, what time is it? I said, 7.10. <laughs> it's kind of cool how we're like out here in the middle of the forest. We made tacos. We've been watching Netflix on my hotspot and we're gonna make tea and go to bed. And it's like warm in here in the middle of winter. That's just kind of wild, honestly. <laughs> Cheers, Leah. <sighs> it's been a year and a half of waiting to do this, of waiting for this moment, and it's it feels really good. I'm really happy to actually be out here and like be living in the bus. Like this is, it's pretty cool, guys. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. <sighs> it feels good. Cheers. I met someone. I'm gonna brush the teeth. The teeth. Uh, I got your toothbrush out. Thank you. 
it's like a little past 11. I am exhausted. <laughs> Way past grandpa's bedtime. <laughs> I feel like we're in my parents' driveway. Like I feel I like know. if I open the window right now, I'll just see my house, but like, we're not. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The stone over the mouth of the well was huge. When all and just like that, it's time to uh, wrap the night up. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Uh, so actually, it was pretty nice in here last night. Both of us had like a mediocre sleep, I think probably because it was like our first time out and about, but uh, we were like up off and on throughout the night, but otherwise it was pretty comfortable. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Leah's gonna get to work. She has a little bit of work to do on her computer. If you guys have any solutions for better internet on the road, that isn't like a cafe or whatever, let me know. I've been using my phone out here as a hotspot so we can get on the internet and it works. Like we were able to watch Netflix and uh, HBO, but it's kind of slow and it buffers a little bit. I'm gonna make us some tea and coffee as well. This Keurig is really coming in uh, handy, I gotta say. Thank you again, Howard, for sending this. Leah's gonna have some coffee today with me instead of her normal tea, but she likes it with a lot of sugar and a lot of uh, oat milk normally because she doesn't drink dairy, she can't drink dairy milk. So uh, I don't have either of those. We're gonna try something new. We're gonna throw some marshmallows <laughs> in black coffee and see if it sweetens it up for her or not. That is delicious. Marshmallow black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how it is. It smells like black coffee. <laughs> I'm saying. What's the verdict? Tastes like black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a just straight up black coffee kind of guy. Like, that's pretty good to me. So, here you go. Yeah, it definitely has a different taste. Let me try yours. Oh, what are you talking about, dude? That's candy. Okay. Bro, that, no, oh, literally that's right. candy. Dude. If you don't drink black coffee, then disregard everything he just said because you <laughs> literally can barely taste it. Who even drinks black coffee, you Bro, psychopath? Me, and a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hop in the shower and all showered up, ready for the day. Definitely, honestly, I'm not even lying. Top five greatest showers of my lifetime. That was, that was amazing. That was purely amazing. Like showering in the middle of nowhere in my bus shower. It's pretty cool. And uh, the temperature, A1. I have a couple upgrades I wanna show you guys that uh, I meant to show you earlier. One of them being um, this blackout shade. Door lock on the back door, so unlock and lock and it unlocks from the outside. It's a beautiful day today. It's actually really pretty warm out here. We have our little door lock here. So just boop and unlocked. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and just one more thing, 12 volt thing back on. The old one, the old one that I had on there broke. Uh, the connections in the back smashed into the wall and were broken so we had to elevate it. So we used this little piece of wood and put that right in. Oh, that's bright. And that about wraps up our camp stay. We're gonna go on a little hike though. We just gotta get on out of here. Easy. This thing's kind of a tank, honestly. Yeah, we're on the road. Very nice. 12 minutes only from our hike. Yeah. Way under 14. I have to. Leah Cam, we routed to the place that we were supposed to go and it was private. And um, there was a guy there that we asked if we could do the trail still, and he said that it was private. So we took a few sketch roads, which we're driving on right now. While we were driving, we tried to figure out another trail to go to, and I think we found one that would work. How long are we? 20 minutes. So. These roads are so bad, dude. It's crazy. You think we can make it up there? Yeah.
Kind of like 0 for 2 here on the hikes. The first one, like Leah said, uh, was private property. The second one closed for the season. <laughs> so now we're parked up just down the road um, for like a state game land. I think we're just gonna get out and stretch our legs for a little bit and then we'll head on home. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's so windy, but there's the little uh, view we're looking at. Um, holy moly! <laughs> gonna blow up. Yeah. Who needs those things that you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you like glide? Overall, I would say a pretty successful trip. What do you think, Leah? Yeah, pretty successful. This first trip was just more or less to work the kinks out and see how the bus handles and make sure everything is good since it has been such a ride mechanically and everything to get to this point. Knock on wood. Uh, I think we're actually in pretty good shape with the bus. And enter Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Thank God I got new brakes. All right. We're right back where the journey started. I think it went pretty well. So that's a check off the list. And hopefully uh, we're going to get on the road for further trips really, really soon. I actually have some ideas, some plans, not solid plans yet, but we're talking through them. We're talking through them. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, like I said, some really cool stuff coming up. And uh, without further ado, I'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs>